I have no answers. Doug Peterson gets on 94 WIP. And by the way, the people that were there and enjoyed the live stream do appreciate you being there. It was a lot of fun. We had to levitate the moment a little bit and, and laugh a little bit because of how ridiculous Doug Peterson was today. Okay? Doug Peterson went on 94 WIP and pretty much said he doesn't want to give it. He pretty much doesn't want to give the wrong signals that this team has given up, that this team is giving up. Six games left. He thinks it's a salvageable season still at this point, and I don't see how. Obviously, uh, to the Philly media, he said that he doesn't want to show the team that the team has given up by benching Carson Wentz. He doesn't want to bench Carson Wentz. These two people in Carson Wentz and Doug Peterson are not held accountable, okay? They're not held accountable whatsoever, and it, it really... It really frustrates me because I know this offense could do so much better. But Doug can't play call. Doug can't call anything. Doug does not hold Wentz accountable. And accountable, I mean, you don't see Doug Peterson, you know, yelling on him on the sideline. You don't see Doug getting in his face. You don't see Doug, you know, and Carson Wentz on top of it. Carson Wentz on top of it. He's sitting there at the press conference and he's pretty much like, thinking that there's nothing going on. And I don't think Carson Wentz really listens to outside noise too much. He thinks that nothing's wrong. He literally is like, you know, when, when, when someone asks Carson Wentz, what's going on with the, with the, why are you playing like this? What's going on? And he thinks that nothing's, he thinks it's totally fine. Like he's not even questioning his playability, not even questioning it. So, so what does that mean? So that means the head coach is not keeping himself accountable on his quarterback and the quarterback being accountable at the same time. Carson Wentz goes to the sideline, gets a pat on the back, he sits down. The guy on the radio pretty much said, Doug reminds me of that rich guy on the Titanic that's literally sitting in his room, sipping champagne while the, while the, while the ship is going down, thinking that everything's fine, that it's still a salvageable season. It's not. There's, there's, there's two things about the Jalen Hurts thing that really makes me mad because I have two sides to myself on this. And one side is that I was going with not benching Wentz and, and because, because I was not going on benching Carson Wentz this year, especially what I said last week. I said, just give an evaluation period, nothing's going to happen. But because of just what these two, this player and this coach had to say today, thinking that they, they need to be reprimanded by upper management. They need to be reprimanded by Jeffrey Lurie or something because they both think that everything is, they walk around, heads in the clouds, and think that everything's fine. Carson can't hold on to the ball. Carson can't, I mean, the last draw was Carson getting tackled in the end zone. That was the last, you, as a quarterback, how many quarterbacks sit there for that long with the ball in their hands in the end zone? I don't care if it's third down and you got to throw the ball out of bounds or it's fourth down and you got to throw it out of bounds, whatever it is. All these quarterbacks do that. These quarterbacks, even if they're getting tackled, these quarterbacks at least huck the ball somewhere or try to get it out. If they're get, if if a piece of their arm is getting dragged down or something, he's going to get tackled, you throw the ball. This guy just wants to be Mr. Hero, Mr. Big Play Hero, Mr. Big Play, call him anything. That's what he wants to do. That's how it's going to be. This guy is not held accountable. Accountability is so important because when no one holds, uh, holds accountability, everyone just drifts and this organization just drifts. It's a shame. 2017 was three years ago. It's done. It's over with. Need to get past it. Get rid of these vets. We're $60 million over the cap. The veteran guys are favorited more than the young talents that we have. Tra this whole entire offense is used the wrong way. Doug literally said last week, he said, I am dialing in more plays to get Carson Wentz out of the pocket and you know what he does by the fourth quarter the first play was out of the pocket the first play for Carson Wentz was out of the pocket in the fourth quarter he did that once he had him go outside the pocket once not three not four not ten times once 
You run the ball with Miles Sanders, it's going well. It's the past couple weeks where we start running with the ball, we have success, and then you get away from the run. And then you make Carson throw the ball more, and it's raining in Cleveland, and you're making him throw the ball more. It makes no sense. I was on board with letting just the evaluation process of Carson Wentz just go the rest of the year. Let's just see what happens. If it's fail, it's a fail. If, it's, if something good happens, something good happens. Is it about this Jalen Hurts thing? Is it right? Is it right right now to be like, half of me is like bench Carson Wentz. The other half is, do you really want to bench Carson Wentz now? You have a primetime game, game against Seattle. Putting Jalen Hurts under the spotlight is probably not the best thing to do. And honestly, it's not fair at all. But when Doug says at his press conference, if he not at the on not, not on 94 WIP, said this at the regular press conference at Novacare. At the regular press conference, he pretty much said, I don't want to, you know, it's gonna give a bad look, okay, benching Carson Wentz. So pretty much, how is Jalen Hurts not going to be disrespected by that? So pretty much, Doug goes on 94 WIP and says, and says, oh, I, I, I could definitely, Hurts could definitely be in a game. He's prepared. Apparently, he's not because you're, you don't want to bench Carson Wentz. You don't want to bench him. Jalen Hurts should be disrespected and have more drive than ever. And this golden, this golden child quarterback we had that's treated like, like he's royalty and he's not should sit out a game, reflect on himself. You know what? Carson Wentz is going to be mad if he gets benched. I really don't care. You can't play here, then you can't play here. But he needs to reflect. you got to bench this guy for a game. At least bench him. If you bench him during a game, it's going to be worse. But at least bench him for a game. Let him see what it feels like. Maybe he'll drive. Maybe he'll drive Carson Wentz to play better. Maybe he'll, he'll. Maybe that concussion will heal faster. Maybe he'll just play better. I don't know. But the guy needs a slap. The guy needs to be benched for a game at least. And the other side of the coin is that because half the people aren't going to watch this whole video. They're just going to you know see what I'm you know say take one thing, leave the video, and be like, "Oh, Joe said this." No. The other side of it is, as soon as you bench Carson Wentz, it's over. Carson Wentz in Philadelphia, it's over. If you bench Carson Wentz, it means you, the organization believes that they do not believe in him. It is over. It is done. Once you bench Carson, all bets are off. You're looking towards Jalen Hurts or you're looking elsewhere. That's it. The more we lose, and the only reason why it's it's nothing's really happened right now is because we're still in the uh, first in the NFC East right now by a half game. Whoop de doo, okay? Whoop de doo. But I'm telling you right now, as soon as we're one, two, three, four games behind in the NFC East, something is going to happen. The more we lose, the better it's going to be. But I don't want them to lose. I want them to win. I'd rather them get their stuff together and get this going. But we know that's not going to happen. We know that changes are not going to be made. And if they start winning and they start playing, they just do a 360 and start playing tremendously, then I really won't care that much. But this is un, this is unfixable. You can't keep these same guys in. Why is Alshon Jeffrey playing? Why is Jalen, Jalen Rager used the wrong way? Why is Jason Peters at left tackle? Why? Why are, why are, why is Wentz, why? You have a problem. Any other team would have benched their quarterback. Any other team would have gave them a, at least a game off, at least, at least something. I'm not saying Sark Jalen hurts the rest of the season, but you need to, you need to, you need to discipline this guy. This guy needs to be disciplined. Okay, when I do something wrong at work and I get disciplined for it, it makes me think twice about making the same mistake again. But this guy could just, I'm, 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 just gonna, I'm always going to play the same way I've been playing. Yeah, you've been playing the same way you've been playing. That's the problem. Every time Carson says that every week, he's actually telling the truth in a weird way. He's actually playing the same way. He's being too assertive. He's being too aggressive on the field. There's so many different things that go into it. So other than that, that's all I really got to say about it. Really, that's all I got to say about it. Because at this point in time, I don't know what type of faith I have in this front office. Jeffrey Lurie should step up over everyone and put his foot down. But because Doug 
and, and Carson have been reprimanded for the stuff they've been doing, they're just allowed to do what they want. So if Doug specifically said that he has control over who starts, who's in charge of who's the starting QB, and if that's the truth and our answers have been, you know, that question has been answered, Doug is going to think very, very hard. No, you don't reprimand you don't reprimand Carson Wentz or yourself. You're not disciplined. You don't it makes no sense. It makes no sense. We're gonna get embarrassed on Monday night by the Seahawks. Embarrassed. I don't care if that defense is the 32 ranked pass defense in the league, okay? Our defense isn't gonna hold up against that offense. It's not gonna happen. Okay, our offense, we can't even count on them. Our offense has, g- has gave up more points than our defense this year. Carson Wentz, what, 16, 17? I can't even get loose. I mean, he's been sacked 40 times already. He's been hit 40 times sacked in the backfield like that. He's going to be, he, it's ridiculous. I can't even put much on the offensive line. I can't because this guy has had time with open receivers nonstop every game. And then when the offensive line, people give excuses because of weather, of of the offensive line, of everything. This guy's not mobile anymore. This guy can't run anymore. This guy got paid and said, I don't care anymore. Or this guy literally has an injury or this guy got that concussion from Jadavian Clowney and hasn't pretty much gotten better from it yet, which was discussed on WIP today. So really, there's so much that goes into it. But Doug is the one that has to really either step down or let's seriously either hang yourself or step down. That's it. You're already embarrassing yourself. Please don't embarrass yourself anymore. It's because it's sports and it's 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 politics. It's so much more that goes into it because like when I go to my job and I screw up, which I have done a million times, trust me, I've made stupid mistakes and I get reprimanded for it. I think twice about doing that again. But these guys just seem to every single game, there's no one's getting brought upstairs. No one's getting brought into the office. It's literally like, we're just going to play and just keep working on it. And, you know, we could just look like this all year. It's fine. It's embarrassing. Carson Wentz is the worst quarterback. At this point, if you bench him, if Carson Wentz gets benched, it's over for Carson. Carson is literally going to be mad about it, obviously. Don't care. Don't care. Do I think it's smart putting jail? At least put him in for a, se- a couple series. I'm not even asking him to play quarterback the rest of the year. Make Carson literally think about the stuff that he's been doing on the field. Make him sit there and be like, Mal, I have to play better. I have to be much smarter. Look how I've been playing. How can I play like this? But at his press conference, he seems like nothing, everything's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Missing receivers, fumbling the football, holding on to the football, being Mr. Mr. Hero every single game. That's all I got to say about Doug and Carson. Fix it and fix it quick.